The future is kind of here right now. We're just gonna get in the car and ask it to take us somewhere. Oh, it's not touching it! A lot of you guys know about autopilot. It's something where you get on the freeway, you pull on the little trigger, and the car will drive down the freeway, stay in its lane, change lanes sometimes. It's pretty cool. It'll even get off the freeway for you. I get a little uncomfortable. I don't even let it take me off the freeway. I just let it cruise in the lane on the freeway, and it's fantastic. I love it. This is the Tesla Model S Raven, which is the fastest car that you can get right now. 2.2 seconds, zero to 60. But this particular Tesla Raven edition is unlike any other Tesla Raven in the world. Elon Musk is probably the only other person that has a Tesla with the capabilities that this one has. The full self-driving option. This is my friend Eli. You may remember him from the Boring Tunnel event where you have an incredible magazine about Elon Musk, right? Yeah, The Adventures <laughs> of Starman. I actually just released episode one then, and just last week we dropped episode four. Episode four already? Yep. Holy smokes. This is my Starship, wrapped beautiful stainless steel, uh, cause I'm friends with Starman, so obviously this car has to look awesome. Tesla entrusted me with the FSD beta, and basically so that I can go out and help provide them test data, but I'm also been given special permission to actually share with you guys and the world what the capabilities of this feature are. Okay, what's the top things that have blown your mind so far while you've had it? What's totally blown me away about this FSD beta is watching it go through an unprotected left-hand turn. <laughs> no lane markings, like when we exit this neighborhood here, it'll come up to the stop sign. It'll even tell me when, if it can't see far enough, it'll say creeping forward to observe. It'll creep forward, it'll look at what's going on around, and then when it's safe, it'll take off. And it does it with pretty good amount of confidence and a really decent speed. Like it's not crawling, it's going. Okay, enough talk. You guys are here to watch us drive the car or to let the car drive us somewhere. I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. Eli tells me I shouldn't be nervous because he's been testing it for a while and it, it works. Okay, what grocery store are we going to? Uh, we're gonna go to Albertsons. <laughs> okay. Albertsons, they have good donuts. This is something entirely new with this FSD beta. I'm gonna double click the stick, which normally you do on a street with lane lines, but check this out. Look at that, it's telling you stopping for traffic control because it sees the stop sign. That is so trippy, that whole sign right there. Okay, so we are at an intersection right here. There's the actual stop sign. It's stopping. Hurting. There's no cars. It sees, I think it sees that there's an intersection coming up. Yeah, it sees it. And it sees the little tree island. Look at the tree. It sees the tree. It's purple. <laughs> okay, all right, we're in the right lane here. Stopping for traffic. Okay, that car went by pretty quick. It was like a green box on there. Oh, we're turning right. Okay. We're going, oh, we're going right. Here we go, driving down the street, we've got a, uh, a car in front of us that's basically a green box on the screen. <laughs> we're going 49 miles an hour. Just like regular Tesla Autopilot, you have your, your hands close to it. Yep. You can take over whenever. Yep. The uh, only thing I've been adjusting here is adjusting what the max speed is set to with the little stick. Um, so I've got it set to like 45 miles an hour. So we're pulling up right now. Yep. We're already there. Okay, it's trying to figure out its way. It's turning, there's lots of stuff going on. Oh, it's not touching it! <laughs> By the way, look at this, watch it navigate this parking lot. Oh my gosh, look at all the red boxes. Those are cars. <laughs> what the heck? That is trippy. All the different colors on the screen right there. Hey, we have F FSD driving beta. Haha. <laughs> That's another Tesla. Okay, so it's literally pulling up. It's going to stop right here because it's the, the front. final destination. Okay, let's give it a little something else. Does it see that lady right there? Yes. Oh, there she is. She's a green box. Yep. Does it see her face mask? It's a cool <laughs> face mask. <laughs> Check out this light. It's got a blinking yellow. Oh, it's red on the other one, but it knows. Oh my gosh, it's going fast. <laughs> as soon as the light turns green, it turns green on there. It's kind of following the car in front of us. It's going fast, and then it's turning. It's just turning, the wheel's just turning. I know it's a car, but it's driving. My Tesla doesn't do this. Calculated by the dotted oh, line. Oh 
yeah, the gray dotted line. There's a car driving by. It sees it. Does it see any others? No. No. Okay, it's like, here we go. We're good. Go! <laughs> okay, so he successfully went from a neighborhood to the grocery store. A couple of things that blew my mind. First of all, that it could recognize the cars and make like right hand turns. That's pretty insane. Left hand turns are crazy too. But then once you get out in the parking lot, the way that it visualizes everything, it visualizes the cars, the people, the lines on the road, everything. So check this out. It's still coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's tripped out by me. Here it comes. All right, it's gonna turn right there. What if I'm running? What happens if I go like this? Oh, <laughs> I just stopped. What happens if I go like this? Oh. <laughs> okay, so how did it do with me jumping in front of it? It saw you coming across the screen, and as soon as you bolted out in front, it slammed the brakes and stopped. <laughs> and then did it want to start going once I started going again? or It waited till you were kind of clear out of the way, and then it slowly started edging off. I want to test this thing down the Las Vegas Boulevard. This is the Aria Hotel and Casino. We are going to get in the car, ask it to take us to the Tesla Superchargers. This is the first time a Tesla full self-driving beta has been on the Las Vegas Boulevard. And we're off. A taxi to our right, taxi to our left. Upcoming lane change is coming. We are driving on the road where I rode in the Mercedes-Benz fully automated car once. Oh, we're changing lanes. <laughs> There's a car kind of in our lane and not in our lane, or how are we gonna navigate that? Oh, right around it. Look at all those yellow boxes. Those are all the people. It can't even see that the corner is there yet, but it knows based on navigation that it's going to be there, so it's already predicting its path. That's lane turn, lots going on, lots of colors on the boxes. That car pulled the U-turn and the car is like, beep, 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 look out, look out for that one, but we didn't take over. Okay. That was a tricky one. It did it. Two years ago, I was here at CES in Las Vegas and Mercedes-Benz had their autopilot program. All of the data that we're seeing on the screen, it looks like some video game. That's kind of what the Mercedes-Benz one looked like two years ago. A side note, Mercedes-Benz has actually stopped their autonomous driving program. Like, it's done right now. They're not doing it, supposedly. I think that's the last thing I read about it. But what the guys told me when they were there, they said, right now, the cars are good enough to, to cover 99% of the different scenarios that they're going to encounter on the roads. But it's that 1%, that extra 1% that they need to get collect data for and then program the car and teach the software and the artificial intelligence. When a kangaroo jumps across the road, what is the pattern for it? How does the software react to that? So that hopefully that 99% can get to like 99.9% because .9 it's never gonna be perfect. But in order for people to be comfortable with an autonomous car, it's gotta be pretty near perfect for it. And that's what the job of the beta testers are right now with Tesla. So I don't know when exactly people can expect that they're gonna get this deployed like system wide for production, but this is a beta, which means it has, it can do really incredible things. It has incredible capabilities, but it also fails sometimes. And until they get that failure rate to a very low percentage, Tesla's not gonna push it out because they don't want anybody in their cars or anybody walking on the streets to be unsafe. So I don't know about the timing, but I can definitely tell you from seeing this feature that the future is here. It's just around the corner and Tesla is absolutely gonna deliver on their promise of full self-driving. This car's got cruise control. School, please. We did it. We drove down the Las Vegas Boulevard on a busy night. It was surprisingly busy and it worked. We didn't hit anybody. Tesla, good job. I love my car. It's so fun that it drives itself on the freeway. And someday I get to do that cool thing. So anyway, let me know your questions down below because if we want to do another video or if he's going to do it on Twitter, I'd love to know what things you're looking forward to or what things you want to see him do to test it out. I'm putting out video clips on Twitter at Eli Burton underscore and also on the YouTube channel, My Tesla Adventure. Remember how I said that he wrote Starman? the comic book. Well, there's four episodes and even a coloring book. So I'm gonna take 
these and put them as part of the ongoing giveaway with our backpacks. I'm just gonna randomly put these in the backpacks of some people that buy backpacks in November. We got the 15% off of our merch. And also I'll put a link in the description if you wanna go buy one of these. So that's pretty cool. We've got four magazines to give away. Oh, you don't just have four to give away. I got a whole box for you to give away. Check out all these. All of these for you guys. If you order backpack, I'm just gonna throw them in. For some of you, not all of you. Or if you watch our Amazon Live, if you don't want to buy a backpack, you can watch our Amazon Live and I will just randomly pick out some people for free that will get one of these. So you can buy a backpack or go for free and get one. So anyway, they're actually really, really cool. Okay, yep. A whole box. Why is the seat warmer on? My bum is nice and warm now. Wow, thank you, full <laughs> self-driving. Oh, you're just gonna work together. Hi, uh, Nate. Must have what? Where you can get? Yeah. 